Hi, I'm Adam's Down Boy, and welcome to the fourth video in the Mother Clucker Clan's Root of Nightmares Raid Guide series, together with my fellow cluckers Aaron PK, Frel UK, Minoni, Electric Sheep, Tooks, and Zone Runner. In this short video, we'll demonstrate the second parkour section of the raid between Scission and Macrocosm that is unusual in that it involves a variant of the raid's main mechanic. Your aim for the second parkour section is, unsurprisingly, to get to the far side to the next encounter. All six of your fire team will be running and acting as gardeners in order to survive a white mechanic, an overwhelming energy darkness pulse emanating from Nezerak in the distance. I'll very quickly run through the terminology I'm using in this series for anyone who's not seen the earlier videos. There are two types of seed that the gardener mechanic can use, dark and light. Dark seeds are light brown, and light seeds are bright white. These can exist in one of four states. Buffed, which appears as a fully formed seed inside an aura of a matching colour. Active, which appear as formed seeds without an aura. Inactive, which appear as a grey sphere inside a dark light helix. And Dormant, which appear as a dark light helix with no seed visible. Shooting a buff node while inside the aura will give you a 15 second buff called Flux of Darkness or Field of Light. After collecting your drops from the scission chest, you'll first need to jump inside a, in sheep's words, beautiful and delicate flower. Once everyone has entered the uh, flower, two dormant seed nodes near the start will spontaneously convert to buff nodes. You'll then collect the Flux of Darkness or Field of Light buff and use it to connect sequences of four light and dark nodes. Finishing both sequences opens what can generously be described as an iris mechanism, similar to the one that protected the Stargate, but which looks to us far more organic-y, sphinctery, and quite frankly intestinal. Once back outside, you'll notice that you've gained a new buff called Darkness Refuge, and see a buffed light seed in front of you, which you'll shoot to gain the 15 second field of light buff as you did in Cataclysm and Scission. This time though, you're not taking the buff to another light node to extend a chain. If you look down, you'll see a dark seed. Shooting the dark seed while holding field of light will recreate this new Darkness Refuge buff. You can hold both buffs at the same time. Because you're not creating light and dark chains, you won't lose the field of light buff when you shoot the dark seed as you did in the previous two encounters. As before, the buff will be granted to anyone standing within the aura when the seed is shot, and will persist for a short while after, so others can run in to gain it without creating it themselves. This buff will be continuously applied while you stay within the aura, and for 15 seconds after you step out again. The Darkness Refuge buff is the only way of surviving the overwhelming energy pulse which will trigger roughly every 45 seconds or so, so as a team, You'll need to make your way across the section using catapults to traverse large voids and alternating collecting field of light from buffed light seeds and creating darkness refuges. There's an audio warning that this is about to happen. If you listen, you'll hear heavy heartbeat sounds before an alarm that rises in pitch as it gets closer. You'll have about 5 seconds from hearing the heartbeats to getting to a refuge if you don't have the buff or if your buff timer is about to run out. If you have less experienced team members, the best way to do this is to stick together rather than speedrun. Maybe use a couple of three-person teams so that the catapults don't get overloaded, there are enough people to take on the Cabal skirmishing groups you'll encounter, which will respawn continuously, and so there's someone on hand to revive an orb if anyone should die. A door at the halfway point, and the door to the next encounter won't open until the fire team is all there, so speedrunning past ads and leaving them for those who follow to deal with won't gain you anything. This parkour section has both the second deep sight seed set and the second secret chest. You'll find the seed set after taking the third catapult, jumping over to a building on a floating island on the left where the main path takes you to the right. You'll need to connect the two light or two dark seeds depending on the sequence shown in the deep sight garden. When you've successfully completed the sequence, everyone will see the your actions take root message on screen. Be aware that you will be at risk from the overwhelming energy pulse and need to get the timing right to get in and out to the next refuge before the pulse hits. The second secret chest, much to Sheep's surprise apparently, is just after the middle door that doesn't open until the whole fire team is assembled. Up the stairs to the right, looking down from an edge, you'll see a small crux that when shot will open the door to the room with the chest for the fire team. As is ever the case with secret chests, 
you can drop any raid armor or weapons that you've already obtained from encounter chests along with any raid mods that you've yet to collect. There's not really any difficult jumping in this section, so I wouldn't say it's necessary to change your setup, but if you feel more comfortable in changing to a saved loadout, go for it. You'll be facing the full panoply of Cabal enemies, mostly minor red bar adds with the occasional orange bar elite and yellow bar major, so the weapons you used in Scission should be fine. Let's just say that now we've got a fair few clears under our belts, the Cluckers do usually take a Pirate's Code approach to this section. Anyone who falls behind is left behind. It's what Captain Jack would have wanted. Here we mostly stick together, particularly for the second half. At the start, inside the uh, flower, Aaron completes the Dark Seed chain and Tooks the Light to open the Far End Iris. Once outside, Tooks starts fastest, finishes first and for the first time for him, without dying, so you might want to concentrate on his video to see the route from start to finish without interruption. During the run, Erin sorts out the Deep Sight seed set, so watch her to find out where that is, and Zone sorts the small crux to open the door to the secret chest. I'll highlight them in the video so that you can follow them to get these two locations. Hey, yeah, Into the flower. Are we referring to it as a flower because we're recording it? Erin completes the dark seed chain on the left and Tooks does the same on the right. Each time, as in previous encounters, extending the chain involves finding the buff node, shooting it to get the flux of darkness or field of light buff, and taking it to the next inactive node in the chain to activate it by shooting it while standing close by. The path is fixed and finishes in the centre of the room by a floating stone with a dark seed underneath and a light seed on top. A pulse of light from the exit followed by the iris opening and a change of objective indicates success when they're both finished. Yeah, yeah I was... Uh, mm. Because it is what it is, Mino, a flower. A beautiful and delicate mm -hmm. flower. Mm, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Whatever floats your boat shape. Club. <laughs> oh no. It's going to be the jumping section now, isn't it? Yep. yep. Oh no. Oh. That's going to be on screen. Right. I'll just mute myself. I realised I've never done the light nodes in here before. The voyage of discovery. Was it exciting? <laughs> Very exciting. Congratulations on the Concaro Time 6 too. Oh my god. The height path ground was awful. <laughs> So I'm following Tooks, so if I die, it's his fault. Alright. Tooks waits for no man, or titans, or anything. Four guardians crowd the catapult, and the crux is shot while they're still positioning themselves for launch. It's carnage as a result. Erin is able to recover using a strand grapple, and Tooks redirects himself with a melee, but Sheep shanks far to the right, and even triggering his super can't save him from the plummet. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! Chad, I saw that coming a mile away. Ah, yes, the anguish screaming has started. <laughs> now I'm going to get punked by this thing. Sheep uses the first catapult again and waits at the next darkness refuge. You can see the overwhelming energy pulse in his video as it starts to expand from Nezarek's coffin out through the outside space until it reaches the various members of the fire team. See, I, I want to go for the next one, but I know that as soon as I move it's going to start the white mechanic. There we go.
Bye, Sproul. Should not do this. Oh, my God. I should not have done it. Aaron jumps across to find the second deep sight seed set and activates the light seeds to continue the chain. The fire team all see the your actions take root message in their feed to confirm this was successful, but she dies just after she exits, having no buff to save her from the pulse. I don't want him down here, but I'm assuming he's going to... There we go. I'm going to die because I'm just on the code. There we go. I'll go pick a Baron. There you go. Tooks reaches the halfway stage and waits by the Darkness Refuge while clearing ads until the rest of the fire team catches up. Oh, I'm with your sheep. Wow. Are you ready? Uh, it's all done up here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just waiting for that. Won't open yet, sheep to the wall here. They have a name! <laughs> <laughs> Mother Cluckers. After the door opens, Zone heads to the small crux that unlocks the door to the second secret chest, while everyone else deals with ads while waiting outside. I say everyone, but apparently no one has ever told sheep about it, so this was a lovely surprise for him with this run. The second half takes you through a landscape that looks increasingly transformed and disrupted by the Tree of Silver Leaves. You can watch any of the fire team perspectives, but Tooks provides a run that's uninterrupted by deaths, so probably provides the best view. Do you guys come back or do you press on forward now? No, come, come back, back and get the secret chest. There's a secret chest? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, why'd you have to tell me? No, there is not. No way, what? Oh, to be fair, Sheep, you, if, you're not going to get anything from me, actually. Because I didn't. Uh, I, I got a chicken head. The Titan helmet. I got another red border. Is what's going on. Alright, I'm gonna keep taking all the red borders. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Hot. I'm telling. Bold of you to cheat on recording. Might die. Oh no! I was on zero. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved towards it, and I still died. No. I'm glad you guys are here because I did not have the bar. <laughs> three, four, out. three, two, one, and there goes my buff. Bye. Son bitch. <laughs> right, I think this is one of my better runs, so I'm, I'm glad this is the one. Say it! 
gonna jinx himself. Oh no, I mean slow down. Oh no. I do not have the boat. Oh, I do have the boat. Thank you, Toots. You legend. You're welcome. Whoa! Calm that down, she. Strong, harsh language there. Cotton Toots the Legend is the most offensive thing I've heard on this game. Okay. What did you do to Frail Toots? <sighs> apparently, it, it's, it's a sign of, <laughs> apparently it's a sign <laughs> of affection. That's what he tells me. Is it English affection? Yeah. Uh, and when I question whether or not I really want to be his friend, he backs down. <laughs> Pretty much. Anguished screaming and occasional death aside, that was a mostly straightforward run, and at the very least, you should have a better idea of the route you need to take. As with all raid jumping sections, after a few runs, you'll start remembering seed locations and develop a sense of when to move and when to stay to avoid getting killed by overwhelming energy pulses. Our general rule is that if you're waiting inside a darkness refuge, you can start moving once you hear the heartbeat and the pulse alarm start. You'll have seen a few times how someone was able to survive the pulse wipe mechanic by reaching a darkness refuge that had been set up by another fire team member. So, if you're in a trailing group, watch out for these as they might just save you even if you haven't got the field of light buff to create your own refuge. I'd like to thank Kyber for permission to use their loot infographic in all our guides. Thank you for watching, we hope that's been helpful, and may all your drops be god rolls.